Welcome to BaseballGuys.com. I'm Ray Flowers, and as always, I'm hosting Around the Horn. Josh Hamilton is arguably the American League MVP and arguably the top player in fantasy baseball in 2010. He's been dynamic, he's done everything all over the field, and he's continued to stay productive despite the fact that his knee continues to be an issue. He's had cortisone shots multiple times. Uh, he's going to have to spend some more time as a designated hitter moving forward. That'll force Vladimir Guerrero to the outfield. Whether or not Vlad's body can handle playing in the field remains to be seen. So now there's two guys whose health we're going to have to monitor with the Rangers. Rick Kinsler, I mean, excuse me, Hamilton is out of the lineup tonight on Wednesday. He had another injection in his knee, the hope being that this will allow the knee inflammation and everything to settle down, calm down to the point where he'll be able to remain in the lineup. Rangers aren't going anywhere without Josh Hamilton. Hopefully he'll be fine moving forward. Alex Rodriguez is another player who's at a dynamite option, obviously, when healthy. One of the top 10 fantasy players in the game when healthy. He's had a little bit of an up and down season. Average hasn't necessarily been there. Home runs have been a bit down, and of late, he's dealt with some injury issues. Uh, right now, he looks like he'll be back on Sunday. It's the first day he's eligible to come off the disabled list. I like to see a guy, no matter who he is, take some time in the minors and get a few games under his belt before being activated. A-Rod said he doesn't need that. I guess if you're A-Rod, you've earned the right not to go out on that minor league assignment. So the first day he's eligible, he'll return to the Yankees lineup on Sunday. So get ready to activate him for weekly leagues next season. The Rays are calling up two names, one we've seen a fair bit amount of this season, and one that we haven't. The name we have seen is Jeremy Hellickson. Now Hellickson came up when there were injuries to Wade Davis and Jeff Neiman, and he looked absolutely spectacular. Did everything the club could hope for, proving why the club has such high hopes for him in 2011 moving forward as a potential staff ace. Does that mean he's been recalled to take over for a struggling Neiman in the rotation right now? That isn't the case, unfortunately, if you're a Jeremy Hellickson owner. He's going to pitch out of the bullpen. He spent some time in the minor leagues after his most recent demotion, working out of the bullpen, trying to get a little bit of a feel for that role. Uh, his inning pitch mark is about at 150. They want to cap him around 170, so he'll be used sparingly out of the bullpen. Maybe he's worth a look in AL only leagues. He's not obviously going to get a chance to pick up any saves, but he could do some things and some limited work. Mixed leaguers, ignore him until 2011. Another player you want to basically ignore unless you're in an AL only league until 2011 is Desmond Jennings. He'll see some time as a spare outfielder. He'll probably pinch run a bit, do a little bit here and there, but he's not going to get enough playing time uh, to be a guy you want to count on. But, but, moving forward, he is a dynamic option that you must simply take very, very seriously. Call Crawford, probably going to leave the Rays at the end of the season. There's a belief that the Rays will not sign him to a big term, uh, big money deal that he's going to get on the free agent market. So Desmond Jennings will basically step in, be asked to play the outfield, bat lead off for the Rays. He's got the ability to steal 40 or 50 bases right off the bat. Got good plate discipline, developing power. Keep, keep an eye on Desmond Jennings next year. He's going to be flying up everyone's draft boards and be a guy to target on draft day. Ian Kinsler, he's missed some time with a groin injury of late. Lance Berkman's missed some time with a knee injury. Both of these guys are scheduled to come back off the disabled list today. Good news for both players, obviously good news for both teams, obviously. But only one guy probably has the potential to make a difference in the fantasy game. And it's not Lance Berkman. Berkman will play every day. It looks like at the designated hitter spot, or mostly every day. A great lineup with the Yankees. He just been unable to find his group all season long, starting all the way back before the year started with that knee issue. Hopefully, everything's behind him. He really didn't need those two weeks off to come back from his most recent injury. Maybe he cleared his head. Maybe he worked on some mechanical things, and he's ready to give us a good September. But again, he's not a difference maker at this point. Ian Kinsler, it was the ankle. Now it's the groin. All that leads me to think that obviously the 30-30 guy we saw last year isn't going to be seen in the month of September, but he still could make a difference. I mean, this is a man who, again, has power, he's got speed, he can't contribute average when he's going well. AL only leaguers who have been sitting on Kinsler get ready to activate him. Mixed leaguers do the same, because even if he doesn't do everything tremendously well, he can still be a very, very middle in, solid middle infield option over the last month of the season. Yavani Gardo. What is wrong with this guy? He was mugged at gunpoint last week. He was on the disabled list a couple of weeks ago. Since he's returned, he has looked terrible. His ERA is over seven since he returned from the disabled list. He's been even worse his last four or five times on the hill. He swears he's not injured. He swears he's healthy, but his performance has flat out stunk of late. I know the numbers on the season are still look pretty good, all the strikeouts and all that, but with the way he's going right now, do yourself a favor, put him on the bench, Give him some time to prove he is healthy and is going in the right direction because right now he's a train wreck. And then finally, Jason Kendall, one of the warriors of the game, needs surgery on his shoulder. He's going to miss 8 to 10 months according to the initial projections. 
April's about seven months away, so he almost certainly will not be ready for the start of the 2011 season, and that'll probably end his ability to rack up 130 game seasons. What does that mean? He's had 13 individual seasons in his career of 130 or more games behind the dish. That is the most in the history of baseball. Catchers getting older, obviously lose offense. He's done that. Catchers getting older, have a hard time playing games. He hasn't really lost that yet. But with his inability to really curtail the running game, this shoulder surgery, we've probably seen the last of Jason Kendall being a big time producer for any team, especially in the games played department. I'm Ray Flowers, BaseballGuys.com. Thanks for joining me here on Around the Horn. Talk to you all again soon.